and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is ope and i am a long time manga reader that i really just decided to start collecting manga earlier this year and this is by no chance my biggest haul and like my first haul that i've done since i decided to start collecting it's just the first one that i've separated from my other bookish update videos and have as a standalone video on its own and i went a little bit crazy with my purchases in the past month the biggest one that is not here is going to be the right stuff birthday sale but that hasn't come in it's probably not going to come in anytime soon there are a couple out of stock um items in that order but this is what has come in so far and it's probably for the best because there's actually quite a bit here i have 30 volumes of manga and six damn main novels to go over here and they're just a mishmash of like new and used stuff that i got from like amazon Barnes & Noble, World of Books, and my local used bookstore. So I'm going to go ahead and get started going into my haul for the month of July, starting with what I got from my local used bookstore, which are right here. I have volumes 26 through 30 of Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan is by far like one of my favorite manga so far. One of, not my favorite, but I absolutely love the story. It's almost, it feels like a story that I grew up with, although there are other manga that are kind of older that I grew up with, but I basically followed Attack on Titan from when the first season came out back in 2013. I remember very vividly that I was in my sophomore year of college when it came out and season one came out, it just dropped and then we never heard anything about it again. So I used to sustain myself with the uh, musical composition for the anime to like pick me interested in the series i guess and i absolutely love hiroyuki sawano's composition so that wasn't like a like a bad trade-off or anything he does like amazing work not just for attacking time for other stuff as well but yeah this is volumes 26 through 30 of Attack and Titan. I already have volumes 1 through 4 that I also got from this used bookstore. Each one of them was like $4, which is an amazing price. All of these volumes are in amazing, great condition. They almost feel brand new. So I couldn't exactly pass that up. Like these are great prices. The other thing I got from my local used bookstore was the complete set of Akira, these are a bit bulky, so it's hard to hold them as easily as I did the volumes of Attack on Titan, but this is also a post-apocalyptic manga, kind of like Attack on Titan, except this one is seinen. I know Attack on Titan can probably be categorized more for the seinen um, demographic, but it's categorized as shonen. Honestly, I don't understand what's, what's going on there, but this is a seinen manga, and it's probably going to be the oldest that I'm familiar with as a manga reader and also the oldest in my collection so far. And Akira is notoriously known for being like very hard to summarize for the plot so I'm not even going to try but this is basically like a cyberpunk post-apocalyptic manga set in this world known as Neo Tokyo. It's an amazing story and the art in this even though it's pretty old is just amazing i love how gigantic these volumes are it, it, it makes you feel like you're holding a piece of history in your hands and that's exactly what akira feels like and this might be a little bit of a suggest uh, subjective opinion but it's definitely like one of the most influential manga i think if you look up any list like most influential manga of all time Eight times out of ten, Akira will be one of those. And I'm not saying like influential in the terms of its popularity. It's probably very popular with manga readers, but also influential in how it has had an impact of manga that were released after it as well. So Akira is absolutely amazing. I'm going to show you the front covers of all of them. I'm glad I picked that up and it just feels nice to have something that isn't like new or mainstream in my collection to kind of diversify things a little bit. All right, that's it for my local used bookstore stuff. Continuing with the used stuff that I bought, I already opened this because this is my second take of filming this video. So stuff happens or <laughs> shit happens, but this is what I got from World of Books. And I actually got, I think it was seven volumes and one damn main novel from World of Books. It was split into two orders. Only one has come in so far. I'm really holding out hope that the 
second one will come in eventually because i got this for really great prices and i do not want to miss out on actually getting that but i have here just five volumes the second package has two more volumes of manga and a damn main novel all of this manga that i have here are pretty much new to me all of them except blackbird so i have volume six of blackbird here this is absolutely beautiful by the way i love 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 this manga so much it's like a fantasy shoujo manga by kanoko sakurakoji and it's about this girl called misao who has the power to see uh, supernatural beings and it was just like a thing that she was used to until like this her 16th birthday where things suddenly took a turn and all those supernatural beings tried to kill her and through a series of events she realizes that she's this person known as the bride of prophecy also known as the senka or i think it was like the holy fruit or something like that and if the supernatural beings that she can see they're basically yokai if they consume her they are going to gain an immense amount of power so that's why they're trying to kill her and in comes in her childhood friend Kyo that she later realizes is also a yokai and he's like the clan leader of the Tengu who are a type of yokai and the story just dives you into like this multi-clan wars of people trying to acquire Misao as the holy fruits and gain power for their clan or maybe just for themselves but I used to absolutely love this story. I read it until it got completed years ago. So this is just going to be as a placeholder in my manga collection so that I can collect it later. I know there are box sets that I can buy for this, but everything else here is new to me. I'm going to start with Punch. I already did a little bit of research on this one. It's a pretty short shoujo manga. I think it's only three volumes. And I read the synopsis, it sounded interesting enough. Again, it was cheap, so I just bought it. This one is about a girl whose family are basically like wrestling or boxing champions, but she's not interested in the sport at all. Uh, let's see. She doesn't want to fight, she just wants a normal life. Is it possible with such a violent family history? And she runs into this guy that I'm guessing is on the front cover. So the synopsis says one day she meets a handsome street brawler who intrigues her but her jealous fiance finds out and goes after the guy. Okay, I did not know all of that. That is not the synopsis that I saw online but it sounds pretty interesting and it's a short story, only three volumes so I, I cannot wait to get into that. Um, I have volume one of Everyone's Getting Married, My and Virginia's Boyfriend and Yakuza Fiance. Everyone's getting married and Yakuza fiance I've been seeing going around a lot on social media and I read up on them and wanted to try them out. My androgynous boyfriend, I have been eyeing this one for a while. It's a story I've always wanted to read so I was happy to find the first volume on World of Books. But My androgynous boyfriend is about Wako and her androgynous boyfriend. They don't have the most traditional of relationships. He's obsessed with fashion and makeup. This is basically just a romantic slice of life story. I don't know, it sounds interesting. I just like the fact that you kind of have a non-typical romantic relationship in the manga. So I'm going to be trying the first volumes of all these series out to decide if it's something that I want to keep collecting. This one, Yakuza Fiance. I cannot tell you how many times I've seen this on social media. Like, it's absolutely crazy. It's about Yoshino, who grew up the sheltered Yakuza princess of the largest crime family in Osaka, the Somei. And due to her resting bitch face and her dangerous family, no man has ever approached her. When her grandfather signs a truce with the Tokyo-based Miyama crime family, he offers her up as the truce bride to the Miyama leader's grandson, Hiroshima Miyama, who is popular, charming, and seems totally normal. But behind his smile is a violent, sadomasochistic, wow, that's a mouthful, who thirsts for her dominance even more when she impresses him with her moxie. Even though she knows how bad Yakuza can be, she's stunned by Miyama's viciousness. She can't turn him down with the East-West Peace Treaty on the line, so instead, she steals herself to play ball. Okay, uh, this... I am already in love with this story. I just... I love stories like this. Like, power play in relationships. It's kind of forced, like, not neither one of them really wanted to be in it, or that we know of so far, but... Yeah, that sounds really fun. And the last one is Everyone's Getting Married. I, 
even before I read the plot, this already sounds very relatable. Like all my friends are getting married. So I'm just like, oh, that's going to be a relatable one. But this is a story about a successful career woman, Asuka Takanashi, has who is an old who has an old-fashioned dream of getting married and becoming a housewife and after her long-term boyfriend breaks up with her to pursue his own career goals she encounters popular newscaster Ryu Nanami. Asuka and Ryu get along well but the last thing he wants is to ever get married. This level-headed pair who want the opposite things in life should never get involved except a uh, girl that sounds like a bad idea you know what you want why are you chasing a man or why are you with a man who doesn't want the same thing as you i things like this can be tricky because i'm guessing the end of the manga is going to be that he eventually changes his mind but what if he doesn't like life doesn't always work out that way i don't know i'll see how the first volume goes but i'm not really i'm not really vibing with this like if you know what you want just do that why are you why are you playing games Okay, um, the second part of the World of Books order that I don't have here, it had one more new manga, A Devil and Her Love Song, another one that I think I've had on my TBR for a pretty long time. The synopsis was interesting enough that I wanted to try out the first volume. I do not remember what it's about off the top of my head. An old manga, Love Mode, I don't remember what volume it was, but it was really, really cheap. I think it was like $3. Uh, Love Mode is probably like the first yaoi that i ever read that one and Ze by the same mangaka yuki shimizu and i absolutely 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 loved both of them if you're watching this and you love yaoi and you're not familiar with either series i highly suggest that you go read them Ze more than um love mode i definitely prefer the latter over love mode and a work of the mangaka that's currently ongoing is Kacho Fugetsu, just in case there might be people who are more familiar with that over the other two. But I love her work so much and I am just super excited to collect both Love Mode and Z because when I think of Yaoi, they're kind of like the first series that come to my mind and I just absolutely love them. The last book I had in that order was book five of Heaven Official's Blessing. I already owned the first four volumes and I just wanted to collect volumes five and six before seven and eight are, are released later in the year to complete my collection for the series, but that hasn't arrived yet. Moving on to my Amazon orders. <laughs> I'll do my Amazon orders. So, right here. I'm actually blowing through this pretty fast. Maybe this video will not be as long as I thought it would be there is nothing really new here i have volume 0 1 and 2 of jujutsu kaisen this is something uh a series that i'm actively collecting i bought volumes 8 through 15 which basically just continues from where season 1 left off to read and kind of get caught up on the story in the manga before season 2 came out but I want to keep growing my collection of Jujutsu Kaisen, so I have volumes 0, 1, and 2 here. Amazon was doing like a 5 of 20 sale for very specific volumes of manga, and all of this were like $7.50, so they weren't even full price. And then I got an additional $5 off of all of them, so I was really excited for that. Everyone is familiar with Jujutsu Kaisen. It's like one of those mainstream anime that's like super popular right now So I'm not going to go into actually telling you what this is about Spy Family. I really really like Spy Family. I'm actually rewatching it right now. I haven't read the manga, but I really love the way the um, The manga looks like the covers and everything if you're not familiar with Spy Family, this is another Anime that I think is actually super mainstream. It was really popular when it came out it's actually wild every time they like do a recap of the of all the characters i'm like this is like wild you have a spy an assassin and a daughter who is a telepath and all three of them do not know who they really are or maybe their real selves is who they are showing to each other or who they are able to show to each other by creating their own family with each other it's actually a pretty heartwarming story and i keep wondering like where is this actually going like is it are you just going to keep it like lighthearted the entire time or is it going to get really serious and go back to the plot where there's actually pretty serious stuff that's happening and take it back to twilight's mission twilight is lloyd's spy name so yeah i have those 
I'm already pretty familiar with this and I would just like to collect them. Spy Family, I'm actually not sure if I want to collect the entire series. I'm probably going to read it online, keep this as a placeholder, decide if I want to collect it. If I don't collect it, I'm just going to unhaul this. Not really a big deal. My second Amazon order here. There we go. Okay. This one has just one new series me and my beast boss i've been seeing this one going around a lot or maybe not so much i think the reason i bought it was because i saw the front cover and i'm not going to lie i thought this was like a yaoi because the female character looks like um she just looks like a really pretty boy <laughs> on the front cover so i thought it was yaoi so i read the synopsis and then i realized that she was actually female and i just like the the synopsis so this is set in a world where humans are thought to be inferior to beast folk human office worker saki oki endures a constant stream of ridicule and scorn from her beast folk colleagues and superiors so when she gets called into the ceo's office she's prepared for the worst but instead of firing saki the ceo acknowledges her hard work and makes her his private secretary with all eyes in the office on her saki struggles to get used to her new position not to mention her boss's intimidating yet oddly charming aura it's given very much beauty and the beast vibes but yeah i'm excited to read this one it has really 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 good reviews online so i can't wait to read that i'm just going to like separate all the new series that i have right here with the first volume so i can read them decide how i feel about them and if i want to keep collecting them every other thing i have here are pretty much series that i'm familiar with i have volumes two and six of sasaki and miyano i fucking love sasaki and miyano i just rewatched it recently i watched it when it first came out but I rewatched it again recently and I read the manga afterwards. The first time I watched it, I didn't read the manga, but I decided to read it this time. And oh my god, they are so stinking cute. I love them so, 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 so much. I think the entire series has like only eight or nine volumes, so it's not going to be a hard one to collect, but I absolutely love it. This is a yaoi manga and it's about this boy called miyano who is a fudanshi who which is basically like the male version of a fujoshi they love like male male relationships and one day he's in school he witnesses his classmates uh getting bullied he tries to help or call for help and sasaki notices and sees him so he goes to help his classmate and just, that just throws them into contact with each other they see each other more often sasaki thinks miyano is fucking cute i think he's fucking cute too and it just talks about their relationship, their growing uh, relationship with each other. Sasaki develops feelings for Miyano, and then the other way around, they start dating each other. It's, it's This is a very sweet, heartwarming story. Like, I love it so much. They're just cute. Like, it's just a cute, heartwarming story. I really, really love this. The counterpart of this, Kagura and Hirano, I do not know how I feel about that one. It doesn't look like a, like a mutual relationship. I feel like Kagura's feelings for Hirano are one-sided and Hirano doesn't necessarily feel the same way about him or doesn't see him as more than someone who is just a friend. So yeah, I'm getting a lot of heartbreak vibes from that one. I guess we'll see how it goes. I have volume 1 of A Sign of Affection. The anime for this was recently announced. I just read this manga this year actually. I think I started reading it um, when it first came out but there aren't that many volumes out so I dropped it but I picked it up again recently and like right after I started I finished I got caught up on the story. The anime was announced. I screamed. It was it was crazy but this is a story about a girl who is hearing impaired and she falls she meets her um a guy who goes to her college called itsuomi who is a world traveler and speaks like different languages and stuff it's just like a this is also like a heartwarming shoujo story and i really did not read a lot into their relationship until i started reading like some comments online they were talking about something about him feels off you know first love never really pan out like are they going to break up i don't think they're going to end up together and stuff like that i really don't want to think about all of that i just want them to stay cute and together the entire time so su sensei su morishita sensei i hope 
someone lets you know that it's suomi and yuki just need to be together please let them be together do not let this be a situation of first loves don't always pan out i i need them to be together okay thank you very much so a sign of affection the last one in this package is moriati the patriot <sighs> i just watched this anime this year the crazy thing is i knew exactly when it came out this was in 2019 i think it was 2019 honestly I, that was a really hard time in my life like i think i was like two two years into my first job out of college i was so depressed and watching anime just wasn't doing it for me at all at the time i think the only thing i was watching at the time was i know haikyuu uh season four of haikyuu just came out at the time jujutsu kaisen just came out at the time as well and much later horimiya came out those are the only three things i can remember watching it around the same time that it came out so i knew it existed i knew it came out but i didn't watch it i just watched it this year i absolutely fucking love this so much and the covers are just amazing like this is an amazing cover my favorite cover by far is going to be the volume 5 cover because i love albert james moriarty he's like my favorite character in the entire series and he's not even like one of the main characters but i think he's like a behind the scenes behind the scenes character that plays a very very important part in the plot of the series and he just has this very calm unflustered cool collected demeanor and personality that just absolutely works for me but i love moriati the patriot this is basically based on the uh the work of um author conan doyle of based on sherlock and his rival moriati so this is not like a new story or anything but the way the manga and the anime like just took a spin on the story and presents it to you is really really amazing it's about a, a bunch of brothers, loosely brothers, if you watch it, you get what I'm saying that. Brothers who are basically from like their own organization to take down the nobility of the British society. So this is an amazing and I think very underrated anime. If you're looking for something to watch, absolutely go watch this. You will not regret it. It's, it's an amazing story, amazing series. Next thing I have here is also from Amazon. These are pre-orders that I completely forgot about, but they got released on the 25th of July. I'd already pre-ordered them, so they just came in on the 25th. I didn't necessarily buy them this month. They just happened to come in this month. But I have volume 5 of Urashi no Yori no Tsuki in the clear moonly dusk. This is one that I'm also actively collecting. This is a cute high school romance series about the two main characters shown in front here. The girl right here is described as like a super handsome prince so she's seen more as a boy basically she's kind of like that character that <laughs> girls drool over more than boys do but she likes guys and guys don't really see her as kind of a girl or anything she's described as a prince in the story but all of a sudden she gains her senpai's attention and they start dating on a trial basis but whereas um the fourth volume ended they just confirmed their feelings for each other. I'm really excited to read this fifth volume. The story is already cute enough, but just the, an added bonus is how absolutely beautiful all the volumes or all the covers of the volumes are. Like, look at this. And the art inside of it is just as clean. I absolutely love that about this story. Like, you're getting a good story with amazing art and beautiful covers like what more could you possibly ask for so that's been in the claire moonlight dusk i have volume five of that and i have my first anime novel here stars of chaos like i mentioned this just got released on the 25th of july i am more familiar with um mfcx works as a reader of damme I wouldn't necessarily say I'm new to Dame. Honestly, I'm a little bit confused. Like, is Dame meant to be different from Chinese BL? Because I'm not new to Chinese BL. The very first one I can remember reading was um, 19 Days. And more recently, I read Here You Are. But it almost feels like those are kind of separated as Chinese BL. And Dame novels have like a more uh, kind of the subgenre of like that wuxia, chansha science fiction type themes 
meanwhile your chinese video have like office romance like uh, college settings high school settings and stuff like that but this will be my first work by this author that i've read i've heard many good things about her about them i don't know if this is a he or a she i've he heard many good things about this author and honestly in the damn may community i have not been stared wrong by a recommendation every single thing that i've been recommended for have been like an amazing story has been amazing so i'm really excited to read this i already read the first chapter last night but it's not like enough to give like a good summary of what the story is about so i'm just going to read about the back it's described as a steampunk epic by the author the discovery of violet gold a vital fuel for steam-powered machines propelled the empire of great liang into an age of prosperity but for chong gong a young man raised on the impoverished northern border the concerns of the empire are as distant as the stars above so this is a guy that's kind of raised outside of the main empire in a pretty poor area but all of a sudden their small village is, ra um, is attacked by raiders and he discovers that life, the life he knows is a lie. His mother, his teacher, and even his godfather, whom he trusted more than any other person, Shen Shu Liu, are not what they seem. As enemy nations close in, Chang Gong follows his godfather to the heart of the imperial capital where a greater fate lies in store for him. One thing I love about this damn novels, I think you can probably see a theme here, is how absolutely gorgeous these covers are. Like, look at this. And this man right here in all black with his um, armor and that monocle, which you probably can't see, but I'm going to take a shot of the book like separately so you can see it. He is absolutely hot for no reason. And I was flipping like through the book. There's also a part here that shows him like as an archer like he couldn't get any hotter and they just had to put that in the book but look at this i feel attacked if you cannot see it again i'm going to take a closer shot of the book so you can see it but yeah i'm very 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 excited about this so i'm going to try to read it in the next week or so again that's going to go here as something that i want to read immediately the last set of books I have here are from Barnes & Noble. This is going to be pretty hard to get into. Okay, I have a pair of scissors here. I don't know why they pack shit like this. It's just the one book. Oh, God damn it. And I'll go ahead and open the other one and bring them all out. All of this are damn May novels. I think I have five damn May novels and volume one of sasaki and miyano here is it volume one yes volume one of sasaki and miyano i already talked about the series earlier i had a hundred dollar gift card because my job has like this reward system where if you have a certain level of activity daily you can gain points and then convert it into money that you can basically use to buy all kinds of gift cards in that on that platform so i always use mine to get like either like barnes and noble gift cards or alta or bath and buddy work so this was just to add up my order to a hundred dollars so i could use the full amount of the gift card but the damn made novels i have here are books one and two of my little mushroom this is a much shorter um damn made series it's just these two books in comparison to series like mxcx's scum villain heaven officials blessing or grandmaster of demonic cultivation so little mushroom this is also a damn made novel so this is uh i think you can categorize this as um what's it called science fiction i've tried reading the synopsis for this very many times i want to say it makes sense to me but it doesn't i feel like this is a story that will make more sense sense to you as you read it but this is another one that came very highly recommended and because of its much shorter length i also want to read it the only other series that i have by peach flower house is um golden terrace that one is also two books and i read it i believe it was in may i really really enjoyed that so i wanted to try these two as well I have volume 4 of Scum Villain's self saving System. This is a story by MXTX. I already own the first three and this is the final volume in the series. I haven't read this. I did watch the Donghua 
it was hilarious that first episode like it just draws you in and it is so funny because this is the fourth volume it doesn't really like give you a synopsis of the entire story but from what i can remember we have the main character who was reading a web novel and he's just trashing how bad it is i think he chokes on his food and he gets transmigrate transmigrated i don't know if that's the correct word transmigrated into the world of the web novel he was reading as the villain in the story and he has to do like this point system to gain points so he doesn't meet the original fate of death that was intended for him in the story it's very very funny even if you just try to watch the first episode of the Donghua, you'll be invested in the story because the narration was absolutely hilarious so that's book four of scum villain self-saving system and the last book i have here is book six of heaven officials blessings book five is not here because world of books is playing games with me but if it does come in now i have the first six volumes and whenever volumes seven and eight come in i can complete my collection for this one as well i already have the first four books this is the most popular damn may series ever like Except if you're a normie, you've heard about TGCF or Heaven Officials Blessing. Everyone knows this story. It is that popular. Even if you don't know what it's about, you've heard of it. It's crazy how popular this is. And I've actually not read the story or like the web novel or anything. My only exposure to the entire series is from the first season of the Donghua. So I just want every all the volumes to come out before i read it and it's getting harder and harder to wait for that because i guess because i consume a lot of other uh damn me like Ch or slash chinese bl it's something that's recommended to me quite often on like youtube instagram tiktok and it's really it's getting really really hard to avoid spoilers for the series so i don't know i might just cave and read it one of these days or maybe not because i have a ton of other stuff to read but that is everything that i bought in the month of july there's definitely going to be more to go through when the other orders that i placed during the week come in so i have like my right stuff birthday sale i went absolutely bonkers on that one they had a lot of great deals going on if you're watching this video and you haven't bought anything there i think it's going to continue until the 31st of july so make sure to go check it out they have amazing deals going on there i placed some uh, additional orders on barnes and noble as well I guess that means you can look forward to another manga haul coming soon but that wraps up this video and i hope you enjoy the rest of your day whatever day you find yourself watching this make it a great one and i will see you in my next video bye